What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at a whole bunch of new arrivals and things that are coming soon to Blade HQ. It's been a month, a whole month, believe it or not, since I've gone through Blade HQ. So, if you'd like to check this stuff out with me and hear my commentary, uh, then stick around. If not, but you still want to look at the pages, I will link the new arrival section and um, the coming soon section right down in the description so that you guys can go through this stuff yourselves without having to listen to my voice. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's get into the new arrivals. I'm so excited because I legitimately have not even glanced at it yet. Um, I'm also going to do my best to read uh, reviews today. Um, excuse me. Oh, uh, the um, Olone Knives Goat. Hmm. Let's take a look real quick. Who is the OEM for this? M390. Yes, I figured it was China. Um, goat Axle. The Olo Knives Goat AXL. Pocket knife is a versatile and reliable companion for everyday use, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, eight and a quarter, so it's a nice size. Crossbar lock. This has the JG10. A little, uh, I kind of like how they do the clip there. That's a really, that's a really great clip. Yeah, nice. I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that looks like this, but this isn't bad. I don't know about the price point, you know. I mean, it's hard. It's hard when CJRB is doing, you know, S90B titanium pyrites for $200. Um, they're a little bit smaller, though. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's a, it, whatever your cup of tea is. The Giant Mouse Vox Onzo, uh, Kubi Flash. That's very, uh, that's very Kershaw-y kind of is what it makes me think of. Eh, Kubi, Kubi, Kubi. Are they still doing? I'll tell you what's going to make me skip all these. Yeah, Austin. Sorry. Uh, it's, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just not very exciting. It's just a really not exciting steal. And I know that's really snobby of me. That little send cut uh, Vesperon looks pretty good. I, I'm almost certain they'll send me one of those. So I don't know if we need to spend too much time there. These are 40 bucks. Are they D2? 9 CR18 MOV, that's that's fine, right? That's fine. Uh, it's really hard to get excited about an Austin A Kubi for 56 bucks when you can get a 9 CR18 MOV send cut for 16 bucks less, you know? Um, and the cutting geometry is a little better. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they, they are taking more chances. They, they are doing some weirder stuff. I... I wonder if it's uh, if it really is a, a collective, um, the collective effort of me and and many other uh, reviewers and just the online community in general. If calling for Civivi to do something other than just a folding steak knife is actually making them do this, uh, or if they're just like, yeah, we're bored, we're gonna make something different. I, I have no idea. It seems like they are legitimately trying to do different things. That is a freaking crazy grind. Um, hold on. I want to see this picture. There we go. Look at this. <laughs> That's wild. I mean, you're not, it's, it's not like you're gaining a major utilitarian benefit. It's just a different, it's just a weird shape. 14 C 28 N. All right. $63. I'm not, I'm not mad about that price. It's kind of cool. I kind of, I'm interested in taking a look at this one. The Wii Nexus, Nexusia. Excelsior! Why did I say that? Sorry about that. Sorry for putting you guys through that. That is, uh, there's a lot of holes in this. Wow, holy blade. Okay. All right. Kind of cool. I like the the blades. Kind of neat. The position of the fuller. Okay. Is that a wait? Wait. What size? Was, what size of knife is this? Oh, it's kind of. That's kind of a big boy. Okay. That's a little more interesting. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for that one. I hope they send me this one. I didn't realize it's a, uh, they got compound. No, they are. They're all compound versions. Look at this. All right, that's a little, that's a little more interesting. Uh, obviously, I have to handle it, right? Kind of cool. That's not a, the, I'm not super big on the prices down there on that one, though. Uh, the Wii Knife Co. Zonda, the Zonda. Why do you want $400 for this? Tell me why ain't nothing but a... Why am I doing it? I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff that's pretty cringy today, guys. Sorry. Your whole channel's cringe. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, I mean, I might as well go full tilt. Okay, so what is going on here? Okay, we got some pretty 
some fairly complicated inlay work. Contoured and is this finished differently or is it just, it kind of looks like maybe they got a fancy finish on the titanium here and then we have this, I call it the plasma anode, that's not really what it's called, laid into carbon fiber which is laid into the titanium. I would like to see the backspacer, please. Can we see? I think that is a different finish. Maybe they got a little bit of, maybe they got a little orange peel on here. Um, uh, 400 bucks. I don't know. Kind of neat. Uh, don't, I don't love the price tag. Like there's some, I mean, there are, there's obviously some more complex machining and things going on there, but geez, man, those prices are getting ridiculous. This page is having a, a lot of trouble loading right now. <laughs> okay. More Bradford Guardians. Kubi. Master Chief. That is bold. That was a bold move, Kubi, putting Master Chief on this. Uh, Austin, dude, no. Why you gotta do Master Chief dirty like that? I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of that one. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on here. Open all outdoor junior number seven. Uh, is this like, what is it? Is it a whistle? <laughs> What's going on here? For the boy or girl scout in your life or just a kid who loves the outdoors, this pocket knife makes an ideal gift. The Open Hill Outdoor Junior Number 7 folder has a blunt tip Sandvik uh, 12C27 steel blade. Uh, you know, I, I can kind of get on board with this. The blunted tip is especially designed for child safety knife. The sturdy polymer handle is a perfect grip for smaller hands. I like that more than the wood. The wire block safety ring locks into the blade, blade, blade preventing unpleasant accident. And finally, a peeless. It is a whistle! <laughs> It's a whistle. <laughs> That's great. Okay, cool. Whistle knife. Um, I don't know how I feel about th my like them putting their mouth on something that also has a blade like out. Um, but I yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, Hybel Invictus. I don't know anything about ballast songs. They look pretty cool. So there you go. Condor Fighter, Condor Black Leaf. Um, what's this? American Tomahawk and it's a baton. Okay, we got a uh, a whack-a-mole stick. Neat. Okay, moving on here. This this is kind of interesting. I saw this on the front page of um, Blade HQ. The CRKT Calbi Calbi. I don't know. Liner lock, blue aluminum. Blade material is Akuto 440. I don't know. I, I have no idea what that is. Bearings, made in China. No idea about the blade steel. Good looking uh, profile though, and they got some diamond texturing on it. Not not a bad pocket clip. Kind of neat. Looks like it might have a little bit of um, lock bar axis problems. Just guessing. Maverick Customs Viper. I've never heard of them. More Maverick Customs. Okay. Oh, the Demco AD 20.5 and Aus 10A is on sale down to 130. They're going to have a problem selling those now. I mean, it was a lot easier to justify when there was no other variant on the market. Now that we have the other variants, not many people picking up the Aus 10A versions. Uh, Damascus launch 14. Okay. Um, so this this Civivi. Uh, incisor 2 is absolutely ridiculous um, but I, I, it's probably one of my favorite karambits just because it's so insane like they put every means of opening this thing you can flip it open you can reverse flick it open you can freaking button lock it open you can you know wheel it out you can tactical ninja flip it open you know you can you can like karate pocket it open or whatever you call that you can do all that stuff I also have this envisage envisage here with me and it's interesting. I would say that's one of the more practical uh, karambits out there, and it's just a little bit less intense. But the Civivi one is just insane, and it it looks like a tiny like folding scythe, um, really crazy. I also have the Diatomic here with me, 
and it's neat, but why do they want $400 for it? I don't get it. Um, every, and, and the pocket clip thing is hilarious. And people are, it's so funny, like the justifications. People are like, it's so that it's ambidextrous. Like, don't you understand? It's so you can take it from one pocket and put it in the other. Yeah, but the pocket clip is symmetrical. So if you needed to do that, you just take the pocket clip off and flip it over to the other side. Just like every other, like, ambi, you know, clip design that's out there. So having two clips on your knife at all times makes it weird in the hand because it extends the total thickness of it. And you are feeling the pocket clip on both sides. And it's mounted for tip down, which just makes it even weirder. I, I don't know. Um, it's a really nice looking knife, but it is not a $400 knife. I mean, it's not an integral. It's got like a butt cap design. That's kind of neat, right? There's, there's more effort in it than a, a standard Wii knife, but not, you know, $150 more. Like when I think of a standard Wii knife, I think of two, about 250 bucks. There's not 150 more in it. It's also not a true double edge. It's a single edge and it's got a, it's just like a, a huge swedge on one side, unsharpened. So it's neat though. Um, wild. Lots of so many karambit style knives uh, that are like this Kershaw outlier. I guess karambits are really coming back, right? Been seeing more of the um, the Jedi. I, I still need to pick one of these up. The I you know I just they're never right there available for when I'm looking for something. Is that a freaking manual SOCOM Elite just sitting there? It's the USA SOCOM Elite. Even, even half serrated, there's no way that that will still be here. Um, so I'm recording this on a Friday afternoon. Like, you, you guys are seeing it, like, right, right away. And I always try to do these, like, just a few, you know, just like less than 24 hours from when I'm going to be uploading it so that it's relevant. Uh, but even then, I very much doubt that's still there. But you can, you can check. It might be. It's just sitting there. <laughs> Oh man, combat troodons are now five hundred and thirty-six dollars. I bought my first combat troodon, which was. Let me think about this. Um, it would have been a long time ago, nine years ago, maybe ten years ago, something like that, for three hundred and sixty-five dollars. Three hundred sixty-five bucks. Obviously, things have changed since then, but. The combat troodons are still relatively the same knife, um, but I did I did love that. I don't know why I got. I mean, I I, I own two combat troodons now, so it was a stupid thing, obviously, to um, get rid of it. The Max Ace Raccoon Dog. Um, it, I've brought this up before. Um, this is uh, it's so so weird. I keep seeing these in different steels. This one's an RWL thirty four, but it's one hundred and sixty eight bucks. They also have these in S ninety V. I don't know if they are if they have them on blade hq in s90v maybe is this one here it is right here yeah this is not a small knife eight and a quarter s90v and titanium for 198 bucks hey we knives explain explain this uh, like i understand the diatomic is a lot more complicated than this but is it 200 dollars more complicated um <laughs> i don't know why do I want a tomahawk? Why? Every time I see a tomahawk, I, I light up. Like, I have no use for a tomahawk whatsoever. What are these OTFs? The Heretic Auto Manticore E. Have they shortened the blade up for legality stuff? Dagger. Oh, Dagger did an OTF? Huh. D2-125. But, I don't know. Dagger knives are good. That pocket clip is just insane. <laughs> it makes me think of a singing cartoon skeleton like he's in the middle of a high note like off he had a solo he's right in the middle of a high note he's like on the high note of the national anthem um okay eight inches it's kind of interesting it's a weird looking otf a lot of people are going to say 125 or d2 well okay but it's an otf right so look at compare compare you know directly with other otfs because that's a little bit of a different deal there. Look at this. Dude. USA Magna Cut for 139. Kershaw dude, okay, Kershaw has been doing some absolutely amazing things. Um it's 7 and a quarter inch knife, but 
seriously, I don't think I've seen a better price on Magna Cut. Is this assisted? I mean, I don't even care. Honestly, I don't even care at this point. Probably building the answer. The dividend is slightly a gentle curve. Gentle curve, extended use, dividend, outfitted, everyday carry. I'm just, just reading certain things. <laughs> uh, that's one to pick up. I think that's a freaking excellent price. I would hope that Kershaw's getting um, the heat treat on there. Magna cut uh, at, at, to at least 62. I know a lot of people want it closer to 64. Um, but either way, 139 for a USA Magna cut Kershaw. That's pretty impressive. Nice work. Scorpion 6 Thestral. Interesting. Let's keep going here and see what else we got. We got uh, some more uh, Colossus. I'm surprised that those don't sell better. I've never handled them. Look at these new Protex coming. We got some, well, these are out, it says out of stock. It might be that they're coming or they're actually out of stock. SBRs in, it says bronze, PT Custom Auto. I want them to do the big ones. Some cool flashlights. These are custom flashlights, kind of neat. TR3, still one of the best uh, USA automatic buys on the market. Um, the Iridium uh, is another example of Kershaw just making some freaking incredible stuff. I mean, yeah, it's D2, but it's it's got to be one of the most impressive um, budget Kershaws ever. Uh, I really like this knife a lot. That is, it's an absolute joy to use, and uh, it's a this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a Chinese Kershaw, but. Either they changed their Chinese OEM or they have just stepped everything up because the last few newer Chinese Kershaws that I have handled have been excellent. They are nothing like the old kind of goofy Kershaws. Um, I'm not surprised that we're still seeing the subvert in stock everywhere. I'm not surprised that these didn't sell out immediately. I mean, $420, that's a lot of money, right? I think we're kind of getting back into some of the older stuff here. Wait, what did James Brand do here? Oh yeah, Magnica USA. Um, James Brand, um, I you should be introduced to Hoag, um, and uh, then you can understand that they are making a better knife with the same materials, with the uh, or better materials as, as in the handle, uh, in the scales, um, for over a hundred dollars less. You guys should meet. Uh, you guys should meet Hogue because they're absolutely. This is this is ridiculous. Uh, if you wanted a little over two hundred for this, um, sure. But you've slapped that absurd James Brand price tag on there. Um, no, sorry. Um, if they didn't try so hard to like sell some imaginary lifestyle to you with the knife, I probably wouldn't be so salty about their brand. Um, but it's just it's just kind of a ridiculous thing. Um, here we go. You can get a DECA in Ultim um, and properly heat treated Magna Cut for one ninety seven. The Ritter Hogue RSK MK one G two, which is a Knifeworks exclusive, is also it just makes uh, the James Brand that James Brand knife look like an absolute joke. There's still more new stuff here. Fourteen pages in. Some of this I have not seen yet. That's probably the coolest looking uh, Protect Terzuola ATCF that I've seen. The operator variant. That is tempting. What are these in? These are in MagnaCut. Oh man, do they have a freaking tech? Uh, is it G Texture G10? That's a nice looking knife. I wish it was a little bigger. Somewhere between this and the Eagle Rock. The CKF collab. Let's see. Let's see coming soon. Sometimes Blade HQ is coming soon. Pages. This is this is one hundred percent the most interesting. You know what sucks though. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Just knowing how the um, the Vision R was from Wii, like that the Vision R was one of the most interesting Wii knives that I have ever handled. When I saw that Civivi was doing a version of this, the Vision FG Superlock. I was like, if this thing comes in at under 75 bucks, 
it will absolutely be in the running for the best budget knife of 2023. But they priced it $4.90 over my hard line. And I can't make an exception. Uh, I really need to handle it to make sure that I like it, but um, this this is still interesting. But gosh darn it, they got it. They got it. They got it at eighty bucks. It's not like they're like you know before they price things. It's not like they sit around and go, well, what what's Metal Complex's line for a budget knife? Uh, should we consider? No, they, it's not. They're not really concerned with that. Um, but yeah, Tenacious M4 also one to be paying attention to. Wait, do these get a little less expensive? Here's one at 7820. If they have any version of this knife that comes in at 75.00 or less, that would be really exciting. That doesn't mean that I can't celebrate it though. Is this a smaller version of the Look at this though. It's like the um the Zephyr but a Civivi variant. I think I did know about this. K110 pre K110's Bowler D2. I'm pretty sure. Hey, okay, I think I've seen a lot of this stuff. A lot of the same stuff is still coming soon, obviously. Uh, let me do one more page here. Sibibi, Gav, Goodness, Spiny Dogfish, Drop Bear. Hey, what's this now? Let's see here. Kaiser doing a Micarta, Drop Bear 154CM. Those are still fantastic. That's a great knife at 109 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got here? Anything else? Spoker, Magnum, no. Okay. All right. I think that's probably going to do it. Do they have an exclusives page? I don't know. You guys are probably pretty familiar with the Blade HQ exclusive. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. A lot of interesting stuff at Blade HQ for sure. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, uh, these pages will be linked down in the description for you guys to check out if you want to. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.